Hello, Jenny Hall here for Ink on 3. Today I'm sharing the card that I made for my son's 10th birthday. I'm using the Fat Alpha Numeric stamp set from Ink on 3 with some embossing ink and embossing powder. And then I'm going to use some Atelier ink pads in three different colors with a color layering stamp from Hero Arts. I'm going to start off by making sure that I have a panel that's already die cut with a slimline rectangle panel and I'll put the link to what I used in the video description below. Because I'm going to put different stamped images all over the front of this piece of pa this panel, then I am coating the whole thing with some uh, embossing buddy bag. I'm using the alphanumerics because they look like bubbles to me. Now you could call them bubble letters or um, marshmallow letters. I'm sure they've got lots of different names, but to me they look like bubbles. And my son is 10 years old. Well, he will be 10 years old in a few days. And he loves whales. I happen to have one whale stamp in my collection. I should have more, but I've only got one. And I am going to stamp all of the word letters that say happy birthday trip. And I added some sprinkled white embossing powder and heat set that. So now we're at the point to where we're going to do the emboss resist technique with some water coloring. I left the entire watercolor process in the video, which makes it a little bit longer, but I thought you would really enjoy seeing how, exactly how the background's created. So the first thing I did was wet the panel. And I'm staying away from the embossed letters until I get some color on all the rest of the paper. Because that first layer of color, and this is ink refills from Ink on 3, but that first layer of color is going to get absorbed into the paper. And that's what's really going to stick in the end. So once I've got some color around, then I scribbled a light coat of color over the letters because I want the letters to look like bubbles which are not as dark as the actual water. After I did that then I am taking some darker ink which I'm using the peacock blue and the trinity teal plus a little bit of painted black from ink on three. Now I've got some color going everywhere I'm kind of smoothing out some of that with a diagonal stroke and then I'm going to really just soak in that dark blue. The peacock blue is my favorite color from Ink on 3. It is so intense that it is gorgeous. Now, my, my son will tell me that in the ocean, it's darker towards the bottom. So I wanted him to feel that the, that the ocean was actually not one solid color, that it was darker at the bottom. So I added that darker color and squeezed that water brush and that gave me the squirts of water to just help everything mix around. I've made sure that I've dried this and then I'm taking a white gel pen and I am enhancing the stamped lines. It's easy to read already, but I really want the letters to pop up off of the paper like they were bubbles and so adding that gel pen just kind of kicks it up a notch and my son will really be able to to read it very quickly now i did not add the number portion of his birthday down to the stamped image because i want those letters to kind of look like they're floating up off the paper and a kid only turns 10 years old once in their life so I felt this was the part where I really wanted to put my efforts into making it a little special. So I had a scrap of watercolor paper and I'm stamping down just like I did before with some of those letters and I'm stamping on the smooth side. So be sure to pay attention to your projects and see which side is the smooth and which is the bumpy side of your watercolor paper. Now I'm making sure that I color outside the lines because once I fussy cut these letters, I want there to be no difference. I don't, I don't want there to be a 
like a, a, a white area outside of the embossed letters that spell 10th. So now I've gone back to a piece of 80 pound cardstock and I'm going to be stamping this whale from Hero Arts and it's a color layering stamp set. So this video is serving two different technical purposes. We've got some water coloring with ink refills and then uh, now I'd like to show you how to use layered stamps with the Atelier inks. So if you have the Atelier inks in your stash from Ink on 3, then you don't have to just use them for watercoloring or use them for single stamping. You can use them for layered stamps as well. So the first image of the whale I stamped in Trinity Teal, and that was my lightest color. And now I'm using the peacock blue, which is gonna match my background that I watercolored. And I'm stamping that two times. I really want that dark blue to show up on the whale. And then the third piece of the layering stamp set is the little details of the whales. I guess maybe his front part, his head and fins. But I'm gonna do that in black and that's in the painted black Atelier ink. Now I did it a couple of times to make sure it stays really nice and crisp dark and it worked perfectly. Layering stamps, you know, you can sometimes hit or miss, but uh, the ink turned out so crisp on this that I was really pleased. So I'm going to add here this panel down to a piece of blue cardstock that I've made into my card base. And this is a slimline card that will measure eight and a half by three and a half inches. And I'm adding some strong adhesive to the card base and then liquid glue to the back of the watercolor paper. And the reason is because the panel cut out just slightly smaller than my card base. And I wanted there to be that liquid glue ability to just wiggle it a little bit and get it into just the right spot. And that worked out perfectly. So I've got some double-sided foam on the back of the whale, and I die cut that with the coordinating die from Hero Arts. And now I'm going to adhere these letters with liquid glue. I'm not popping them up. The watercolor paper is thick enough that I did not feel like I needed to add any foam underneath it. But I used liquid glue to adhere those, and they kind of look like they're floating up you know, like bubbles. So that part is going to stand out that my son's 10th birthday. And we've been really talking about how he's double digits. And so that part to me was a bit more important in the project. I'm using some liquid pixie dust now to add some sparkly bubbles. And this is it. No, no glitter or sequins because my son is a little sensitive to that kind of stuff. But I hope you have enjoyed this process and that you will check back for some more videos soon. Thanks for watching.